musicalchemy at yahoo.com. To Music Alchemy, today at 7.51 p.m., the weekly horoscope week from 08 to January 14, 2024 General Tendencies Everyday Life Profession. We are getting closer and closer to Pluto entering Aquarius. Some find this a good prospect, but others don't welcome it. The Moon is in Sagittarius on Monday and Tuesday, fueling hopes. On Wednesday, it moves into Capricorn, where it meets Mars and becomes the new Moon on Thursday, which is in good connection with Uranus. You move from hope and dreaming into the concrete, into action. You take the dreams with you, Saturn and Neptune in Pisces but also impulses for change and renewal, Uranus. The impossible or revolutionary is increasingly finding its way into your everyday life because it is becoming more ordinary. You gradually get used to things you would have rejected a few years ago. You are preparing the ground for even more change. When Saturn is in Pisces, as it is now and will be for the next two years, things change gradually without you having a chance to intervene actively. But those who see their opportunity to make a difference within the given framework will be active this week. Unfortunately, Sunday could be sobering. Mercury reaches Capricorn, and the Moon reaches Saturn. Should you be more cautious and not give in so easily? Relationship love. Venus moves into a complex connection with Uranus. It looks like some people want to bend over backward to save or revitalize the relationship. The Capricorn new Moon is also in aspect to Uranus and can indicate something similar. The Capricorn emphasis tempts you to hold on to something out of principle, but it can also help you to integrate new impulses and make your relationship life more exciting. Aries Everyday Life Profession This week begins with the Moon in Sagittarius activating Venus and Mercury, helping you to see the bright side and formulate wishes. From Wednesday, the Moon is in Capricorn, triggering Mars and becoming a new Moon. In Capricorn, you need to take action to turn desires into reality, and you want to be at the forefront of this. It's also about taking responsibility. The favorable connection of Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter indicates extraordinary creative power. It's a week in which you and others will get things done and take a visible step forward. The Moon still moves through Aquarius on Friday and Saturday, promoting good cooperation. It helps ensure that you don't always think about working perfectly but also have some fun. On Sunday, the mood darkens noticeably. Mercury arrives in Capricorn, and the moon joins Saturn in Pisces. It's then up to Venus to focus on the good and meaningful. Relationship love. Do you value social recognition and think your partner is a good match for you in this respect? That could be a topic that will be on your mind more often this year. You have certain expectations, and your partner certainly does. Two, you can reduce this to a common denominator. Perhaps you should try to involve your partner more in your projects or talk more about work. Think of yourselves as a team. Everyone contributes something valuable, and good ideas count. 2. Taurus Everyday Life Profession Thanks to Jupiter and Taurus, for many months now, you take yourself seriously and are constantly expanding your vision. You are interested in the world, not just yourself and your immediate surroundings. This week, there are opportunities to expand your sphere of influence, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and leave your mark. You'll do this best if you work together as equals, with you setting the tone. Others will not hold this against you. On the contrary, your strong commitment is welcome and strengthens your reputation. With such constellations, you can make a name for yourself if you think it is worth it. That's a huge topic in our society, which you probably can't escape completely. It's an opportunity you seize almost incidentally. You embrace the chance. Jupiter has been direct again since the end of 2023. Now, you can reap what you have previously sown, a reward for your diligence and courage. Relationship love. Venus in Sagittarius needs enthusiasm and something extraordinary. Normal circumstances are not enough for her. In your love life, you should take your partner somewhere, preferably as a surprise. Can you fit something like this into your busy schedule? Use your organizing skills and plan something you can do together to escape the daily grind. Next Sunday, however, the Moon and Mercury will be dealing with serious issues. And even after that, there's no lightness in sight. Gemini Everyday Life Profession Are those around you setting the tone? You may find it refreshing at the beginning of the week, but you'll be increasingly tense and worried from Wednesday. Could someone be hogging the work and leaving you no room to develop? Or is it the other way around? So you are getting more and more to do? Capricorn is emphasized, with a new moon on Thursday, and the planets are predominantly in feminine elements. These constellations can weigh on your mood. Venus and Mercury, and the moon at the beginning of the week, in the sign of Sagittarius would like more joy and enthusiasm. With any luck, 
Pleasure will come to you via someone who draws your attention to positive things. If not, you should start looking for it yourself. After the Capricorn new moon, there's an Aquarius moon that loves open-mindedness and humor. On Sunday, Mercury arrives in Capricorn and the moon in Pisces. Then, the little flight of fancy, if it was one, will be over. Relationship love, Mars and Venus are now back in incompatible signs. Sagittarius Venus wants to experience something beautiful, while Capricorn Mars has no sense of beauty, which is superfluous in the eyes of Capricorn and prefers to concentrate on work. If your partner doesn't have time, it's not a white lie but a fact. Knowing this can calm you somewhat but won't satisfy your appetite for something exciting. Cancer Everyday Life Profession Mars feels capable of action again in Capricorn and can accomplish pretty big things through connections to Jupiter and Saturn. The Capricorn new moon on Thursday emphasizes Capricorn. Its aspect to Uranus shows that you can go beyond the usual scope. You don't do it recklessly but with caution. Mercury is direct again, in tension with Neptune, gradually moving out of this constellation. You have overcome insecurities and perhaps gained new confidence by turning to spirituality. Mercury arrives in Capricorn on Sunday, which means you are confronting a small team as a Cancer personality. Sun, Mars, Mercury, and Pluto. Someone offers you cooperation, but there may also be a painful issue. Moon Saturn, and together, you try to put things right and actively be there for someone. You take responsibility. Relationship love. Venus and Mars are now in neighboring signs and must come to terms, as usual between neighbors. If someone, Mars, demands something, there will be good reasons. You should then listen carefully. If someone wants more joy, Venus, you can consider how to incorporate it into your everyday life. It doesn't take much to make each other's lives more enjoyable. Small, kind gestures are enough. Your partner wants you to notice them. LEO Everyday Life Profession It looks like a busy week. Mars Saturn Jupiter and Capricorn New Moon And this is just the beginning. You know how to tackle things again and do so without hesitation. You are happy when you can be effective and empowered. The constellations describe an expansion of your radius that seems almost natural. By nature, Leo likes to bulk large and can be a role model for other people in this respect. However, the emphasized sign of Capricorn demands that you do not do this at the expense of others. Things will get interesting for you this week when the moon arrives at Pluto on Friday and then moves into Aquarius. The moon anticipates the scenario the sun will play out with Pluto when the latter enters Aquarius for the second time on January 21st. That affects you directly because these transits take place opposite the sign of Leo. Either someone will be facing you who will blow you away, or you will be the person who has a powerful effect on others. Relationship love. If it's about getting older, you can actively do something to cut a good figure this week. Emphasize your strengths, and don't think about your supposed weaknesses. The optimist always looks better than the pessimist. You can be a surprising winner if you break a routine and set new rules this week. You are the boss. Your leadership qualities make you attractive. Can you resist? Virgo everyday life profession. Mercury ends its tussle with Neptune. By now, people will have pondered and weighed things up long enough and come to a comprehensive understanding. So now it's time for the consequences, for farsighted and prudent action with you playing a leading role. A new field of activity has opened up in which you will do things differently from your predecessors. You seize an opportunity and get a tailwind. You are noticeably braver than in previous times. It could be due to your age. You have overcome your insecurities and want to make the most of the time when you can. Still, be active. The Capricorn new moon has something bold and unheard of about it. You are suddenly very sure of yourself, which is helped by a good team. You pass the balls to and don't work against each other. Nobody seems to mind that you are now taking the reins. Your management style is socially acceptable. Relationship love. If Saturn in Pisces represents your partner, you experience them as supportive and advisory. The interaction with Mars and Jupiter indicates joint creativity. You are pulling in the same direction. If you could loosen up the seriousness, Capricorn new moon in Capricorn a little, Venus in Sagittarius would also be happy. And if you can't avoid serious topics, you should at least emphasize how meaningful your joint action is. Libra Everyday Life Profession The Capricorn New Moon emphasizes your retreat into the private sphere. There, however, you are anything but idle. The Sun and Mars, with favorable connections, are powerhouses that lend themselves to remodeling or renovation. A new order should emerge that better suits your needs. That may have to do with getting older or a changed family situation. The mood is positive at the beginning of the week. 
becoming more sober with the new moon. With the Aquarius moon on Friday, your love of freedom and your headstrong nature come to the fore. Then you require a break and look for contact with people who can take your mind off things. Perhaps some fresh air will also help. On Sunday, your mood will be depressed and earnest again. It can help to do something for your physical and mental well-being. Perhaps there is someone you would like to help. That would also improve your mood. If you merely wait and see, you will feel helpless. Mars in Capricorn and Jupiter in Taurus need a meaningful task and want to see results. Relationship love. Venus in Sagittarius has come out of tension with Saturn and indicates a need for sociability, which is encouraged by the Moon in Sagittarius on Monday and Tuesday. Do you have good neighbors or friends living close by? Do you and your partner have mutual friends you could visit on Friday or Saturday? Moon in Aquarius? Take advantage of the time slots the Moon offers to bring variety and cheerfulness into your everyday life. Scorpio Everyday Life Profession Now Mars in Capricorn has favorable connections to Jupiter and Saturn. It needs to be effective. The Capricorn New Moon is in aspect to Uranus and reinforces this concentrated assertiveness. Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus are forward-looking planets and provide a broad and varied framework for action. Saturn in Pisces contributes fundamental openness and social responsibility. With this mix of energies, you can do a lot of good and approach things seriously and persistently. Commitments are in the foreground. To compensate, Venus wants a bit of humor, pleasant, friendly contacts, or moments of happiness. Venus has an enriching effect in the sign of Sagittarius, which can be both material and non-material. The planets in the Earth element work so hard that it is worthwhile materially. Despite all your striving for success, you shouldn't forget that a good conversation can enrich and make you happy. Relationship love. Who controls whom? You are very interested in maintaining or gaining control over the relationship. Does your partner have the upper hand? Do they always know everything better in the end? Do they have more autonomy than you? You can keep up quite well this week and feel an impulse to set the tone and continue to do so in the future. Capricorn New Moon with Uranus Influence It comes across so naturally that your partner can accept it without feeling pressured by you. Sagittarius Everyday Life Profession Venus in Sagittarius leaves the tension with Saturn behind, and Mercury, in Sagittarius is in exact tension with Neptune on Tuesday, which it also gradually leaves behind. You gain clarity and suddenly know how to be active and successful. Mars Jupiter, Element Earth, the Capricorn New Moon reinforces this clarity and boosts your actions. With the Uranus connection, your approach is future-oriented and focused, and you can make an enormous impression on others. You are trusted to do much more and carry additional responsibility. It doesn't stress you out but suits your work ethic and performance well. You make rapid progress, and the results are remarkable. This productive phase will last quite a long time because Mercury enters Capricorn on Sunday, and Venus follows later. So there will always be new connections with Saturn in Pisces and Jupiter and Uranus in Taurus. On January 21st, Pluto enters Aquarius for the second time, a pull into the future you are anticipating eagerly. Does this mobilize you so much? Relationship love. Things are getting lighter for you in your relationship life again. If you feel comfortable in your skin, things will naturally go well with those around you. Looking back, you might say that it was good to look at everything so critically and to examine what you need, how much value you place on yourself, and the significance the relationship should have. A beneficial tidying up has taken place. You have let go of a few misconceptions. Capricorn Everyday Life Profession With the Sun and Mars in Capricorn, in the best connection to Uranus, Jupiter, and Saturn, you feel very comfortable in your skin and are bursting with energy. The Capricorn New Moon confirms this and signals. This is how it should continue. You think and act far outside the box. You use and expand your scope of action. You radiate alertness a willingness to take responsibility, and reliability. People enjoy working with you and let you take the lead because they trust you. You are at your best when you can decide many things for yourself. Physical fitness is also essential. Do you exercise regularly? Now, you need more exercise, and you certainly feel it. It starts with a good posture and climbing stairs. You build up muscles, which has a knock-on effect on your attitude to life. Pluto has arrived for the second time, out of three, at the very end of Capricorn. You experience that it was and still is a revitalization program. When you have an issue, it is not ticked off but integrated. Relationship love, you have learned something new. Now, you pay attention to yourself first and foremost. You experience how attractive this makes you and how much you suddenly trust yourself. 
With this new attitude, you can also conquer someone if you feel like it. It may never have occurred to you before, but now it has. You automatically transfer your new life energy to your relationship life, and you're nowhere near the end of the line. You can see that, and this is just the beginning. Aquarius everyday life profession, Mars, in best connection to Jupiter, and the Sun, and New Moon, in best connection to Uranus. This is not without a positive effect on Aquarius. It may not be as visible for you as it is for others, but subliminally and in the domestic and private sphere, you feel very powerful now. The ground beneath your feet has stabilized. If it still wobbles a little, you experience it as something positive because it illustrates your vitality. You can balance out fluctuations well. Perhaps you like the image of a tightrope walker. The rope is well tightened, but it remains a rope, and you remain an acrobat and will perform special moves this week. Perhaps you are also a dreamer. If so, you have found a dream you can bring much closer to reality. Mercury Neptune, and on Sunday, Mercury in Capricorn. If this applies to you, you should look into your dream box on Sunday and set your sights on the next project without delay. Pluto is getting closer to Aquarius. You are at a starting point for something extraordinary and meaningful, which doesn't just affect this year but your whole life. Relationship love. What does your relationship life look like? How do you want it to be? The Capricorn new moon with Uranus is a make-a-wish constellation. Reach for your star, the planet Uranus. Uranus in Taurus can exploit existing possibilities and make the most of them. It's a refining process. Perhaps you have a relationship with a lot of potential you have never seen. Then you will discover it now. There is always a good reason why you feel deeply connected to a person. Pisces everyday life profession. Saturn in Pisces has strong support from Mars in Capricorn and Jupiter in Taurus. So, if you run out of energy, you can rely on the help of those around you. But with this certainty, your strength will increase, and you shouldn't run out of energy this week. Your convictions will also be nourished and strengthened. You are now living very well in a stable community with other people. Experiences of loneliness have made you realize the value of community. On Monday, the Moon and Venus paint a picture of shared, friendly, and cheerful well-being. The Capricorn New Moon emphasizes the binding nature of relationships while at the same time leaving room for the individual, Uranus. That probably speaks to your heart. It also looks a bit like you provide an anchor for many people. Your sensitivity and very social attitude are what others often lack and what they need as a compliment. They will appreciate you for it this week. It's also as if you have the last word on everything as if everyone is waiting for you to approve something. Relationship love. Mercury retrograde had been rubbing shoulders with Neptune in Pisces and getting the best out of this connection. You become the linchpin of your relationships and get much more attention and appreciation. This appreciation doesn't come out of 